It is 6.49 a.m. Welcome back to Blackjack. I'm Blackjack Alviani, and I have not slept. <laughs> I was like, you know, I don't feel tired. Maybe I'll read a few fanfics before I go to bed. When do you have to wake up early? Archivi Archive of Our Own is a very, very dangerous place. Um, <clears throat> anyway... Um, I'm not actually expecting anything Pokemon related, um, simply because we just got a Pokemon Direct, but I do have Plushy Cyrus here with me. Say hello to the people, Plushy Cyrus. I will do no such thing. Yeah, I know. Um, I was trying to find my Zelda shirt, but I couldn't find it. So, have my, um, my Final Fantasy VI shirt instead. <laughs> It's freaking badass, I know. Uh, I do also, however, have plushy Zelda here. Because why not? <laughs> I know that was the um, the big thing talked about, is that we're going to get Breath of the Wild 2 news, including possibly a title, so we don't have to keep calling it Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, it's highly possible. Um... I hate having to maneuver this around. Um, I'm expecting we're going to get a port of something that no one expected. Um, either from an old console or from an old system. Or you know, bleh. Okay, yeah, you can tell it's... Um, you can tell it's far too early and uh, my brain meets. I've not warmed up yet. Um, you, you know what I mean? Something from like the old days of Nintendo or we're going to get like something from a completely other system entirely. Um, you know, like how we got The Witcher and all that. <laughs> well, we got Witcher 3. We still got the other two games, but apparently they'd be very difficult to port. Not just to a Switch, but, like, to anywhere. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, like I said, I'm not really expecting any Pokemon news. It'll be minor if it is. Uh, maybe, maybe, no, uh, they, they'd announce a side game, um, during the Pokemon Direct, wouldn't they? Gotta move in a little here. There, maybe you can sit with your legs on the... Your legs are too flimsy to sit on the the TV tray. <laughs> uh, um, they might announce something like. Well, what what I'm really hoping for. The game I want ported. Most of all, or not not necessarily ported, but a new game, ideally, um, is Tomodachi Life. <laughs> I actually would like that more than a port of Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> because I've seen what ports of Final Fantasy VI look like. They look atrocious. Who thought? Who thought that, that making this, you know, gritty and brown game... In a good way, before games like on the PS3 got all gritty and brown. In a bad way. I thought a remaking it in pastels would be a good idea. Pastels look great in so many games. FF6 is not one of them. I have ranted on this subject before. I got downvoted for ranting on this subject before. <laughs> Pixel Remaster Collection, my ass. Although we will probably get, like, the Pixel remasters on Switch at some point. Don't know if I'd play them. If I was going to play any, it'd probably be the, um, the uh, Steam version, because you can mod that. You can mod it to look like the good graphics. You know, another game I went ported, uh, just because it was on the 3DS... And my 3DS broke before I could fix it, finish it. Um, Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. I played the, the original game on the DS, 
and that was good. But the 3DS added stuff like voice acting and more subplots, and it was really cool. And then the shoulder buttons broke, and you need the shoulder buttons to complete the game. And you can't remap buttons. If you can, I don't know how. Goodness gracious. Goodness me. Goodness me. I am so tired. But it's okay. <laughs> A Pokemon Conquest Discord I'm in is going to be streaming this in their voice chat. Yeah, I know. All I gotta say is, here's hoping, right? Here's hoping for all these great games to get ported, and to have great new games, and to have just the well, the perfect chronology. That was actually quite clever in my 6.56 a.m. brain. You will have to bear with me, you understand. Um, hmm. <laughs> For everyone who uh, followed me after the Samurai Showdown fan dub, um, thank you. This is more of the content that you're likely to get, though. <laughs> this and, you know, birds. <coughs> Unmitigated bird content. Birds for days. They're in bed. They get to sleep through the night. I am not so fortuitous. <sighs> I should go back to Chibi Chibi Con sometime. <clears throat> It was pretty fun. I haven't actually been there for years, though. I see, um, like, a tiny bit of the chat, and I just saw someone go, Tamanachi Life! Yes. <laughs> a lot of people are hoping for Golden Sun. Honestly, I'm hoping for Golden Sun, because why not? I've never played him. And this will be the perfect opportunity. Ah... <laughs> <sighs> I wonder if we're going to get more information on the Mario movie. It's been over a year since we last heard anything, and that was just the cast list. Uh, you get over here, boy. You're going to be social. <laughs> I mean, you're going to be cut off the frame, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah let's see. I, I, I just I like showing off Plushy Cyrus. I've never got to show off Plushy Zelda before. She's an actual uh, official one. I got her at Komori Con. <laughs> uh, Six fifty eight. We are waiting in time. We are waiting in time. A lot of people making One Piece comments. I don't know why. There's a lot of One Piece games on the Switch. Or at least there are a lot of One Piece games. Um, I know there's like... A few on the Switch. <laughs> some people saying God of War. Maybe some of the older ones. I mean, um, the... The latest one isn't going to be on there unless they pull some absolute wizardry or, I mean, wizard <laughs> witchardry for it. As I was saying earlier, bring back the Mies. Yes, I agree. Yes, I, I fully agree with that. Okay, 659. I wonder if we're going to get that weird countdown music. Also, mm, this is killing my shoulder already, so I don't know how well this is going to go. Mm. Uh, da, da, 
dun 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 <laughs> oh goodness gracious okay so Breath of the Wild 2 title Tamodachi Life those are my uh, two big ones just as we huh? weird it sounded like a rolling sound for a second it is 7 o'clock oh okay so, okay yes yes I figured they'd be showing this. Okay, here, kids. <laughs> All right, give me something big. We live on the continent of Elios. Four Good for realms you. Surrounding a holy land at its center. This is giving a me fire room vibes. Ago, our lands endured a vicious war with the fell dragon. We called upon heroes from other worlds to aid us. Heroes known as emblems. Oh yeah. <laughs> with them, the warriors of our nations fought as one. In See, the they're end, not all using we swords. We were victorious in defeating and imprisoning the fell dragon. Yeah, but how well did that go in the in long run? In the years since, our world has been safe. But now, I sense a resurrection. The binding weakens. Yeah, it, it it tends to over time, you know. It's like keeping an elastic band in a drawer. It turns hard. It doesn't have its plasticity like it's supposed to. <laughs> ah, yeah, there's the trumpet section. Yes. The man who needs no introduction. So is this like You're awake. Uh, it wouldn't oh, be like it really wouldn't be awake, like Final yeah? Fantasy Explorers. Years. That's how long I've been asleep. Mm, what are yeah. those horrible things? If I may, you are a divine dragon. A member of a royal family of dragons revered as deities. The war. Fell dragon. I feel like I can almost remember. But it's just about I give him some time. Let him think. The ring. Marth, right. Sigurd, leave it to me. So it's like summoning their spirits or something? Because they, they keep glowing. Now, but it will liven up as we gain allies. <laughs> The time has come. Now, as one emblem, engage. You know, I imagine you get uh, you get cast as a in a fire emblem, like as a major or somewhat important supporting character. You're going to be appearing in a lot more games. <laughs> Live in the dream. She asked me to gather all of the rings and bring peace back to Elios. People in these things never put rings on all the way. They always bring them to like here instead of here. <laughs> Interesting. Hello, Net everyone. Bugs probably losing her mind. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. What you just saw was the latest installment of the Fire Emblem series, Fire Emblem Engage. Mm -hmm. In addition to the standard version, we'll also be releasing the Fire Emblem Engage Divine Edition. Containing Divine! Items. Snazzy! Please look forward to more information about this Someone in the chat in the goes, future. is Marth dead? I mean, by now. Let's take a look <laughs> at our first batch of headlines. Oh, two to Wait, I thought this was already on the switch. Eh. Cody and May's relationship <laughs> is on the rocks. 
but it gets even tougher. Ah yes, this is the game where you have to when violently execute dolls. one of your daughter's toys. To get their bodies back, they'll brave an onslaught of challenges where working together is the because only way Because you can't just make forward. her cry, she has to cry in Team up anguish. Team with a friend in this critically acclaimed two-player platforming adventure. <laughs> even the bumpiest road can be traveled with someone by your side. Venture through fantastical worlds <laughs> filled with challenging experiences around every corner. In addition to single system play, the game can also be played on two systems via local wireless Neat. or online with a pal via the free friends pass. Cool, cool. Help Cody and May return to normal. With a partner, of course. <laughs> it Takes Two launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 4th. Pre-orders begin today on Turn Nintendo me Wii up. Shop. Well, I guess. If you insist. Since you asked so nicely. The forbidden story. Yeah, begins. okay, I think we already knew about this. I see. It sounds like that's what you want to avoid doing. After oh, okay. I, I did, is as this a, child, a new game? Ruka Minasuki visits an abandoned hospital. Because I knew Made in the Black Water was memories. going to be on the Switch. Might already be. I don't really keep up. The heck is with that outfit? <laughs> Use the camera obscura to repel evil spirits and uncover the early memories that were sealed though. away. A dark curse looms near. What ancient rituals will be revealed? They have Fatal apparently play, involved J-pop, whatever the they are. Launches for the first time in the West on Nintendo Switch next year. I see. There's a new hero who looks mechanical. It happens. Introducing oh. Wave Two of the Xenoblade Chronicles Three expansion pass for the Xenoblade Chronicles Three game. Okay. This is Eno, a new hero. She appears to be uh mechanical. Yeah. <laughs> Complete her quest to have her join your party. <laughs> Expanding your options for classes and battle strategies. Challenge battles will also be added. I'm assuming Test that's something really cool. Consecutive battles against tough enemies. Defeat all enemy waves to earn rewards. Yeah, Challenge as one does. Even stronger enemies to earn Swimwear. accessories and special outfits. Oh my lord. <laughs> I like that one of them had a wetsuit. <laughs> More hero and gameplay additions will arrive in Wave 3. Wave 2 of Wave the Fighting Red 13. 3 expansion pass launches on Nintendo Switch October 13th. Get drawn into these Nintendo Switch games. Drawn to life? Medical nonsense begins when Spongebob oh, and cartoon Patrick games. make a wish that unravels the very fabric of the universe. In this 3D platforming yeah, adventure, I think we all have wishes like that. portals to seven outlandish wish worlds, like prehistoric kelp forest <laughs> and wild west jellyfish fields. Explore using all sorts of wacky moves, don over 30 fantastic cosmic costumes, oh, and meet your favorite Bikini Bottom residents from the TV series, voiced by the original actors. I have never watched SpongeBob in my SpongeBob life. SquarePants, the cosmic I'd... shake, launching on Nintendo <laughs> Switch next year. I guess I just missed that generational feel. Oh, really? Fit? Box with familiar <laughs> oh my lord! From Fist of the North Star. They'll be your instructors <laughs> in exercise mode. <laughs> Defeat as many enemies as you oh can my goodness in battle mode or take on rivals <laughs> ring fit wasn't enough for you people jacket, you're insatiable monsters who can switch march 2023 throw whatever you can at opponents in this hilariously hard hitting party game embrace the absurdity of frantic mini games each one featuring ridiculous rules in madcap arenas customize your character from head to toe oh well, it is by ubisoft of so of course it has ridiculous Plus, rules up to six friends and frenemies in local and online play they won't even know what hit them oddballers launches on nintendo switch early next year <laughs> A small fox I washes ashore on a ruined game. island, 
brave the unknown in this isometric action adventure game. Your only clue here is the manual. Traverse the island's interconnected realms to retrieve its missing pages. Interesting. Dangerous traps and even more dangerous monsters lurk around every corner. I've heard, like, obviously you can tell it's a Zelda like just by looking what at the characters, lost but like it's a really the good one. Reveal. Tunic launches on the <laughs> Nintendo Switch system September 27th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. New Intel has arrived for these front mission okay, remakes. Okay, I was trying to remember the name of this game last night. Full remakes of two front mission games are storming in. <laughs> I in couldn't remember what it was. Remake, you'll pilot I was like, Armored Core? No, that's a different game. turn-based combat. <laughs> As you progress, you'll obtain skills that can help you gain the upper hand against opponents. Well, thank you, Direct. You I don't have to look it up anymore. You can also test your metal at the Roid. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Continue the battle in the sequel, previously unreleased outside of Japan. Mm. Take advantage of additional features, like more Neat. terrain effects, weapon and armor attributes. They're finally realizing the game has international markets. Game. Someone's name was Front Cute Mission Bird. One remake launches on Nintendo Switch this November. Wenzers Front are Mission back. Two remake will launch on Nintendo Switch next year. And in the future, a remake of Front Mission Ooh, 3 will okay. also launch on Nintendo Switch. 1999, goodness. It's a wonderful life for a new generation. A new Harvest Moon wonderful life After game? After nearly 20 years, a beloved farming experience oh, is Oh, yeah, reborn. and they're calling it Story of Seasons now. Welcome back to Forgotten <laughs> Valley. Here, you'll manage a farm I passed forgot down about to you that by place. your father. Restore and expand your farm as you nurture crops. I have been going through hell in and help Stardew Valley flourish. because I put I, I got the, the um, while you're ostrich out and about in the valley, and I put it in the fridge, and I thought that you would be a safe place for it, and now and it is no longer way. there because instead of taking off the top, it takes off the bottom. Those around it uses the items you goes on. most recently put their appearances will change instead over of the years. Well, just ones you put it. Your child oh, that's cool. Will also choose their career based on how you raise them. <laughs> that's cool. An especially wonderful farm life in Forgotten Valley lies ahead. <laughs> Story of so Seasons, play for like a decades, wonderful life launches on Nintendo Switch, summer twenty. And then what happens? Does the game end or does it go to another character? Oh, well that just came out. <laughs> <laughs> Already, the first huh? Post launch Splatfest for Splatoon 3 has been confirmed. Here's the theme What would you bring to a deserted island? Oh, Fear, my. Grub, or fun? I mean. Some way to get rescued, so hopefully. Incredible possibilities. Which team will you join? <laughs> and more free updates are planned for Splatoon 3. Good for them. Be on the lookout for more info in the future. Cool, cool. We supposed to take your so, sticker Squids, off your glasses. What did you think? Are you gonna do the? What I guess that was just for a deserted island. 2018, but still. As for me, I've already decided. I <laughs> hope you'll all participate as well. Next, please take a look at this. Yes. Oh, is this that? Yeah. Interesting. Yes, yes. I still need to play Octopath Traveler. I've got it on my Switch and everything. Introducing a brand new game in the Octopath Traveler series. Didn't we already know it was getting a sequel? Well, Eight I guess this might be the first we see. Embark on a journey through the land of Celestia. With that, we could realize a world without conflict, without bloodshed. I'm going to become a star, 
and bring smiles to people's faces, just like Mama. I'm hitting the road. <laughs> I'll be back once I eliminate that devil called poverty from the world. The man who took everything from me shall die by my hand. Not again. Not the stench. The stench of blood. <laughs> Doubt is what I do. Oh. Leave the hunting to me. You'll have all the tasty meat you want. <laughs> I need to rediscover who I am. A lot of these voices are for a wide player. world set in a bustling era. <laughs> Each traveler's path action differs between day and night. Yeah. Mm. Cool, cool. Our Lord knows well the ways of the world. What will happen Ow. when their paths intertwine? Ow, my shoulder's really sore. And what adventures await them in this new world? Think I found a source. <laughs> eight travelers I imagine Green Scorpion is quite fond of this. Tell. Where will their journeys lead them? Check out his videos. He does really interesting list videos, gaming content, etc. Octopath Traveler Two launches on Nintendo Switch. Also, I was in an Octopath Traveler Mission Abridged. I will link that in the description. It's kind of on what hiatus just right saw now, was but Octopath it's really fun. Traveler Two from Square Enix. <laughs> Please look forward to the journeys of eight new heroes. I shall. The name still sucks. Let's see. But some I guess you're stuck headlines. with it now. A magical home is waiting for you. Neat, neat. Welcome to your new fairy tale life in Fay Farm. Okay. Cultivate your homestead and forge everlasting Just friendships in a this farm lot more farming game, RPG. Huh? <laughs> Discover magical spells to grow crops. Face off against mischievous foes. <laughs> Evil instruments. I think everyone who's in Zoria. band has had that dream. Along the way, you'll befriend a lively cast of characters who call this island their home. I wasn't Tend in band, but I did take fairy piano. Fairy tale farmstead solo, or together with up to four players in local or online multiplayer. By gathering resources and crafting items, you'll be able to customize your home <laughs> and enjoy this mesmerizing adventure even I more. Pizza oven in my home. As the seasons change, new spellbinding surprises can be unlocked that'll help you restore Azoria to its natural splendor. Awesome. Magic awaits in Fay Farm, launching exclusively on Nintendo Switch Spring 2023. All right. It's a musical blast from the past. Celebrate well, the 35th anniversary of the Final we, Fantasy series with the latest We got Terra on the Switch. Enjoy iconic songs like One Winged Angel. Torn from the Heavens. Suteki Dane and more. There are 385 songs total. Songs are categorized by game, so you can play each stage while experiencing the series through the music. In addition, <laughs> two an all thief party can complete stages in pair style, while up to four it's players Tara. can battle to the She's beat finally in online on the Switch. multi battle. Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line begins its symphony on the Nintendo Switch system February 16th, 2023. Not Theater Rhythm on Nintendo eShop. After the game's launch, eh. paid DLC songs from the Saga series. Ultras, you go out of here. Near series. Octopath Traveler. Wait, you can have a villain party? Oh, that's so cool. Songs. Plus, additions containing a season pass and 27 extra songs, including Melodies of Life, will be available. A cosmic adventure is just around the corner. Blast off on an adventure of galactic proportions with Mario and the Rabbids. <laughs> Let's dive into exploration. Okay. Freely roam sure, why not? all sorts of wondrous worlds, each one jam-packed with discoveries. Find coins. Unlock hidden paths. Is this character in the front of them? With their troubles. Cheap tuna. <laughs> 
shops, you can get items that'll come in handy during battles. After each quest or battle, your team will earn rewards and get stronger. Sparks are edge. the land a helping hand. The edge lord character is literally sparks, named Edge with their own special powers and skills. They can help spark a decisive victory. Bowser using a water attack, huh? Can Mario and the rabbits Oh, that's badass to the darkness. Look at that shit. Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope launches on Nintendo Switch October 20th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. A gold edition can also be pre-ordered, containing the base game, weapon skins, <laughs> and a season pass. <laughs> oh my lord, look at those weapons. Restore peace between humans and monsters. Rune Factory yeah, Pre peace returns with dragons. on Nintendo Switch. Take I like Rune Factory 1 a whole lot. With the locals, cultivate crops, and care for I monsters. played through it as one of my OCs. Among other relaxing activities. <laughs> you can also transform into a monster? Your abilities in battle All and right, conversations then. with the locals will vary depending on your form. Your choices will also cool, cause okay, yes, yes. to occur. Plus, a brand new mode has been added to help you enjoy more quality time with your in-game spouse. Rune Factory 3 Special launches on <laughs> The Nintendo way he Switch says quality time year. makes me suspect the rating may go up. Hmm. Plus, a new Rune Factory series will launch in the future. A new series? I see. More Nintendo 64 games are on the way. Awesome, awesome. Pilot Wings 64. Cool, cool. Mario Party. <laughs> Mario Party 2. Oh, golly. Mario Party 3. <laughs> Pokemon Stadium. Ooh. Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh, God, an entirely new generation is going to get absolutely turned by Cliff Fairy says. These games will gradually be added in the future. You can play and Ted Lewis's inability to pronounce the name of one of his own characters is going to live on. Because he's the stadium announcer. He pronounces the name of the oh, rocket bus as Govani or Giovanni or something. He is Giovanni's voice actor, so it's like, what? Oh. <laughs> I see. Was that the original graphics? Like, they they, they did the, um, they got the rights to Brosnan's appearance again? Nintendo Switch games. Live your best life on the newly discovered continent of Antoisia. Various in this day life RPG. Perform what is with Square and these titles? Tasks <laughs> to build character and deepen your relationships with the locals. In doing so, you'll gain access to different job classes and abilities. A grand adventure into the unknown awaits. Various, Various day life launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Well, that's a shadow drop. A malfunction causes you to crash land on a strange planet. Build a new rocket. From okay, I've heard of Factorio. Sim game. Scour the planet for materials. Then build <laughs> machines to refine them into various resources. Eventually, you'll construct multiple production lines like these. <laughs> but the planet's creatures will attack, so keep them at bay. Bacteria Alternately, maybe just give them their own space. A young girl named Ib visits an art museum with her parents for this 2D exploration adventure. <clears throat> she wanders through a busy gallery by the artist Guertena until one particular piece draws her in. Will she be able to safely return to I her think own we've world? All had Every decision in affects her like fate that. in Ib. Launching on Nintendo Switch, Spring 2023. Mm. 
<laughs> Mario Strikers Battle League, where eight players locally on one system can get gritty, is getting a second free update. Cool, cool. Joining the free roster updates are, are Pauline, good. a physical powerhouse <laughs> with fast movements and strong tackles. And Diddy Kong, a midfield speedster awesome. with dazzling techniques and high pass accuracy. Plus, more gear and another stadium are being added. Yeah, the planetoids. Yeah, they're just freaking playing in space. It's gonna mess with the physics and no the mistake. Final summer begins. Oh no, really? You just started. When strange islands I was gonna say appear, yeah, it's giving me and vibes so of something, and I couldn't remember the name of it. From impending danger, yeah. Sprawling landscapes set the stage for your adventure. You Freely just knock a tree over with world, your staff. Forge your own path in this charming <laughs> RPG. Eleven heroes from all walks of life will join your party. During battle, work with your allies to activate various skills, which can be swapped out when I only needed. played uh, Atelier Iris, and even all. then I didn't actually finish <laughs> I got to a point where there is a level spike. The keys I, to this I had adventure dug are up in to your the hands. chessboard area. And Atelier I got a little past three, that, Alchemist of the end, and, and the secret key I don't remember what Nintendo actually Switch made system, me stop. February 24th, 2023. I just remember bep, bep, barrel. <laughs> Wave three is on the way. Awesome, yes. Oh, a sneak peek oh that's nice. Two courses racing into wave three. Mary Mountain from Mario Kart Tour. <laughs> Get to climb this sheer wall. Oh, I remember that Peach one. from Mario Kart DS. This is Ch Chain Chomps roaming the garden. Wave 3 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC Ow. for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game launches this holiday. <sighs> okay. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack members can enjoy you know, this I just DLC got a wave of no being really cost. nervous. The we DLC only have, can also be I mean, it's 726 it's right now, so. How was that? Next, we have some news to share about Nintendo Switch Sports. Okay. In the next free update, golf will not be interested in this at all. That's based on a building in Singapore, right? That glass building in the background. Of course, you can play these locally. Except there's like up to eight three players buildings, and that one looks like it's saying on the four. Same course in survival <laughs> golf. Those with the most strokes I don't know if out. that's supposed to be a visual pun or not. We previously announced that the update would release this fall. However, we'd like a bit more time for development, so the update that's is good. now planned for this holiday. That's good. Please wait just a little longer. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Next, we have a special guest. Mr. Miyamoto! Hello, <laughs> it's been a while. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. It has. I have a few things I'd like to share with you today, including some news. First, as you may have heard, the Super Mario Brothers animated movie we're developing with Chris Melodandri from Illumination will release next spring. And Super Nintendo World, which is entering its second year at Universal Studios Japan, will also open in Hollywood, California. Yeah, I was wondering US. about that, because we had Recently, heard about that a while ago. Finishing touches for both. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about Pikmin. Oh, oh Arlo is going nuts it's right been now. Over 20 years He's since probably the first screaming game, his head off right now. Series. This is Pikmin Bloom. Yeah. It's a smart device we know game about we Pikmin started Bloom. with Niantic late last year, in which players all over the world are planting flowers. Here's a quick rundown of the game for those who have yet to play it. Pikmin Bloom is a smart device game that uses your location. By walking outside, you can find Pikmin, you really them, just and plant skip along together. at that low rate. All you need to do is take it with you on your daily walks or outings. You can look back at the end of the day and see where you walked. Send out Pikmin and collect the items they found that day. 
and feed them nectar to increase their petals. So, how many steps did we take today? While you're out and about, you can also use the AR feature to take photos with Pikmin. Pikmin are all around you. Okay, so where are you Let's take a quick look at my screen. Where are you at a game that's been out for a while? They love are you just trying to bolster it? If you give Pikmin nectar like you see here, their flowers will bloom. You'll also see the number of steps you've taken that day. Do they ever get eaten? I understand the that's map, an the enormous thing along the path you in walk, the so you Pikmin can keep games. A record of locations you've visited. I normally move around within Kyoto, but I've also been going to Osaka, to Universal Studios Japan. <laughs> I occasionally go to Tokyo as well. Imagine you're You'll say like to yourself, in line. Okay, this time I'll try walking for here. something. It trips and, walks and you look a lot of fun. at the guy next to you and it's freaking Miyamoto. You can enjoy just by taking it with you. <laughs> I hope you'll try it out. Okay, now to the main event. Please take a look at this. Pick one four. Arlo's going to combust. That's a nice looking butterfly there. But what the heck is with that flying? <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's all we're seeing. That's right. <laughs> Pikmin 4 will launch in 2023. We won't be showing any gameplay today. However, you'll be able to play like this. What's that little bastard from the Pikmin's on the screen perspective doing? near the ground. I also made a new t-shirt. Nintendo Switch has made controlling the game simpler, meaning you can further concentrate on the core essence of Pikmin gameplay. We call it Dandori in Japanese, or strategically planning, deploying, and commanding the Pikmin. I hope you're all looking forward to Pikmin 4. Thank you, Mr. Koizumi. Thank you very much, Mr. Miyamoto. Now, let's move on to some more headlines. Yes. Eh, yeah, gotta have this. This is probably where I'm going to get muted. So I'm just going to talk really loudly over it because they always try to copyright claim these segments. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see how many songs that they're on here that I have absolutely never heard of in my entire life because I do not keep up with a lot of modern music. And oh my goodness, I am going to just keep talking and talking just to prevent myself from being copyright struck because they always do that and I really wish they would stop. Okay, yeah, more and more oh, wheelchair dance. That's pretty cool. That's, you know, nice in representation. I uh, really still, that does not mitigate the fact that they are going to copyright strike every reactor who <laughs> okay. Can you survive the season of death? Probably not, but let's try. As you cultivate a peaceful farm life in the village so of Lethe, many farm games. The this season is what of the death quietus continuously one? returns, threatening to destroy all. Travel the world and find a way to put an end to the calamity in this life simulation RPG. Well, Along don't you way, think I tried? With different motives will join your cause. While facing numerous dangers, you'll begin to uncover the truth of this ill-fated world. Meanwhile, you leave After your farm for five days and everything shrivels up. Oh, it looks like people help out with it. season will be available on Nintendo eShop. Save data can be transferred to the full game once purchased. Harvestella the singer is very Switch November 4th. early 90s anime. <laughs> Get ready for a devilishly good time. We're going to find out more stuff. 
After 500 years, Umbra Witch Bayonetta the was Witch revived in the present day. In the first Bayonetta game, she clashed with angels to recover her lost memories. And in the second, confronted demons to save her best friend. Now, in this third installment, she'll fight to protect the world from the sudden invasion of man-made bioweapons called homunculi. I see. Don't worry. I know this song by heart. She's gone from fighting for herself to fighting for others to fighting for the world. Those who have overcome their past history <laughs> Luca's back. to fight alongside her include the journalist Luca and another Umbra witch, Jean. The Platinum Witch. New ally, Viola, also joins in on the action. The untested Firebird. Demon summoning. <laughs> Globetrotting adventure awaits. In Bayonetta 3. Launching on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. And from After what I understand, there's probably Direct, something with parallel worlds or something. The gameplay will launch on our official YouTube channel. Because in the previous trailer, the woman she talked to on the train was voiced by Helena Taylor. From the creators but of she Dan isn't. Dan <sighs> Welcome to the city of perpetual rain. Portland? Many cases remain that unsolved actually doesn't rain that much here. It just rains really intensely when it does. Those who investigate are called master detectives who come from all around the world. Mm. What? Meet Yuma, an amnesiac detective. <laughs> and Shinigami, the spirit haunting him after their pact. Oh, God! Dive into it's about that! Cases as a trainee at the detective agency. Clock tower. <laughs> Thoroughly inspect each crime scene to gather clues and evidence. Clock tower. When you're ready, Shinigami will conjure a Those don't look like they the were scattered across the, the desk. It looked like they were in a little pile. A mystery labyrinth. Overcome obstacles and manifestations of mysteries to edge closer to the actual events. I see. However, mystery phantoms <laughs> will attempt to hinder your progress during each case. Avoid their barrage of falsehoods like, and slash through contradictions. Visually, this looks Uncover like a cross between Danganronpa and Persona. <laughs> Rain code, launching first on the Nintendo Switch system, Spring 2023. Oh! Well, the Rev Teens Discord just exploded. <laughs> The latest installment. Oh, it's a Resident cloud Evil one. Of course, it is. Switch as a cloud you can't run graphics like that on the Switch itself. Ethan Winters must face the horrors of the village and its four fearsome lords to rescue his abducted daughter. Resident Evil Village Cloud launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. And to rescue you can himself, and apparently. Try out the free demo today on Nintendo eShop to pre-order the full game. No, I don't think I will. The Cloud Winter's expansion suck. DLC containing a new third-person mode, additional story content, and more. What are you gonna do when the servers go off? Huh? Additionally, think, people, think in three advance. Other recent entries in the Resident Evil series will be available as cloud versions on Nintendo Switch. It just gets year. worse. I'd really hate to be a Resident Evil fan right now. It's an action-packed lineup of Nintendo Switch games. Yeah. Vanquish foes to avenge your father in this kung fu action brawler by thrusting, tripping, and parrying. I'm actually kind of surprised that Shenmue has stands never been on the Switch. <laughs> Fall in combat, and you'll get older and weaker. In turn, however, I you'll see. learn new techniques to complete your mission. Can you exact revenge before your time runs out? Sifu pummels its way onto Nintendo Switch November 8th. That's interesting, so you have to take time out to heal up. Experience the oh, interesting. Up to Final Here Fantasy we go. In this exhilarating action RPG. Zack Fair is a young and ambitious soldier operative aspiring <laughs> to become a hero. Together with Sephiroth and Cloud, 
he investigates strange disappearances within his elite unit. This remaster features enhanced HD graphics, an updated combat system, and new soundtrack arrangements. Neat, neat. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion launches on Nintendo Switch December 13th. Interesting. The classic arcade shoot 'em up Radiant Silver Gun. I've never heard of Nintendo it, but it looks Switch. cool. Fire different types of weapons to take down waves of enemies. I love that kind of 3D. Of Maybe it's just because that was so bonus, revolutionary when I was a kid. Or take but... down differently colored ones for a secret bonus. Rack up these bonuses for a high score. Radiant Silver Gun launches on Nintendo <laughs> Switch later today. All right, cool, cool. Recruit a team of shipwrecked heroes and make your way out of a derelict space station in this roguelike game set in the endless universe. But it's not as okay. easy as it sounds. You'll have to fend off continuous waves of monsters as you make your way through procedurally generated levels. Right. Complete various quests to unlock new heroes, weapons, station areas, Gonna and Gonna take more. a word for it. Up to three players in online co-op can attempt to escape their grim fate. Do you have what it takes? Endless I might. launches on Nintendo Switch next year. If I year. was interested. The journey of world regeneration begins Okay, she anew. looks really familiar. Oh! Tales of Symphonia is coming to Nintendo Switch. The I'll have to give Silver that a shot. I heard it's really good. Shadowy forces called Desiance. To stop them, a person <clears throat> known as the Chosen One must ascend the Tower of Salvation. I really hope that's true. Lloyd soon embarks on a journey with Colette. Find out why everyone wants him in Smash. And his childhood friend in this beloved action RPG. They'll meet allies along the way, like the wandering aristocrat Zelos, and a lumberjack who lost her emotions after an experiment, Prisea. Other allies she sure will also seems join the party. Determined. The fate of two yeah, interconnected worlds hangs in the balance. <laughs> Tales of Symphonia Remastered begins its journey on Nintendo Switch early next year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've known about that for some time. Like, that was... Okay, cool. But yeah, Life is Strange was like the first thing revealed after Kazuya for Smash was revealed. So that was over a year ago. Oh, interesting. A virtual puzzle box, huh? Nah. That one with the platform coming out was kind of dizzying to look at. <laughs> Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe is coming to Nintendo Switch. Well, that bug just started screaming. One day, a spaceship crash lands on planet Popstar. To help Magalore return to his home planet, Kirby don't trust that little fuck. Set off on an adventure. <laughs> In addition to sword, whip and other familiar copy abilities, the new mecha copy ability makes its debut. Ah, Blast ah. foes from a distance, or punch them up close. <laughs> it's packed with other powerful moves as well. The game supports local play for up to four players on the same system. Cool, cool. Plus, everyone can play as Kirby while using their favorite copy abilities. What if everyone wants to play as DDD? There's also a collection of sub games to play. This includes the new sub-game Magalore's Tome Trackers. <laughs> and returning ones like Putting Samurai on a fake Kirby. mustache doesn't absolve you All of guilt. All games can be played with up to four players. Oh, it's the game that was on the 3DS version of Smash that you could do with the Street An Pass. An adventure of deluxe proportions awaits. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 24th, 2023. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. As part of Kirby's 30th anniversary, 
a remake of Kirby's Return to Dreamland will be released. We hope you're looking forward to this game. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching today's Nintendo There's one more thing. There's one more thing. This next trailer will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Okay, I'm gonna do it then. Yep, yep, okay. We gotta get a title. We gotta get a title. Oh, that's cool. Tears of the Kingdom. Oh my god. <sighs> a month and a day before my birthday. Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, wow. I was kind of hoping that they would do like the big sweeping trailer like they did for the Breath of the Wild name reveal and release date reveal but this this is good we can take it small we can take it small cozy it's cozy oh heavens Oh, heavens. <laughs> oh, man. I... I am... I am... Yes. Yes. Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, man. I've heard that they're saying that this is going to be the darkest one. Like, darker than Twilight Princess. Darker than Majora's Mask. So with a name like Tears of the Kingdom, this had better fucking make me cry, alright? <laughs> you put a lot into that title! And I am expecting it to pay out. So, um... Uh, hopefully my shoulder will be better by then. And I'll be able to stream it for everyone! Yay! Alright. It's 7.48. I, um... As I have said many times, I haven't slept, so I'm going to try to go back to bed. Hey, I mean, we saw some FF6 rep, right? <laughs> and that's what's important. Until next time, I'm Blackjack Abiyadi, 
Eddie or not.